The Sky Gamblers Champions League. It is where the top aces in the game compete. You can find the Sky Gamblers Champions League at the Sky Gamblers Champions Hall on Facebook. So please stop by and check us out and meet some of the top aces. All right, everybody. Today we're going to do a quick start guide for Sky Gamblers Storm Raiders and ask a, answer excuse me, a couple of frequently asked questions. To get us started right off the bat, you're going to see this screen when you get into the game. And as soon as you do that, you're going to want to notice that you only have one aircraft, which would be the P-40. Now, the P-40 isn't well known amongst the community as being one of the best aircraft in the game, but it is kind of fun to fly, so we do do it occasionally. However, being new to the game, you are going to want to try and unlock some better planes as soon as you possibly can, and one of the easiest and quickest ways to do that is to go into single-player mode and do a free-for-all or do the dogfight missions. As a matter of fact, is a great way to unlock uh, a few planes in a very short amount of time and also there is a great way to farm points in the dogfight missions to help you rank up a little bit faster so that you don't look like such a noob in the game so we'll show you how to do that as well uh, in here though it's just basically what you have for the game you have a free-for-all which is an everybody against everybody kind of game last man standing which is everybody against everybody but there's no regenerating and then you have uh, capture the flag which is another uh, really quite fun game and it is exactly how it sounds it's capture the flag and then you have defend the base now Sab has done some really interesting tutorials uh, on Steam on etiquette and how to play these games and they're well worth checking out so if you got a minute go ahead and do that so Anyways, let's back up out of here now and go into, we're going to skip multiplayer and we're going to go straight into profile. And here's where you keep track of your achievements and what you've accomplished. And you can change your name here if you like. Or you can also adjust how your plane looks. So once we've done that, ooh, we earned an achievement for painting our plane. How fun was that? So okay let's back back up and we're gonna go into options and the only real thing in here that's not extremely straightforward is nothing it's all really straightforward as a matter of fact so what you're really looking at here is a good place to adjust the sound and you also have a place to adjust the graphics you also have options uh, or language you can change language if you wish um, and custom chat and from there that's about it so we're gonna back up out of there and now we're gonna go back into weapons this is where the weapons hanger is and you can go through and use whatever assortment of weapons that you would like. Okay, now I'm going to take you into a live room and show you how to access the chat feature and the custom chat that we set earlier. The chat feature is actually hidden in the upper left hand corner of your screen behind the gauges. All you need to do to access it is simply touch or click one of the gauges and you will find it there. From here the game flies pretty straightforward and easily. Depending on what you're flying with, a flight stick, a keyboard, or on a device it really doesn't matter. The controls are pretty straightforward and easy. Now the planes are extremely easy to land and take off and when you do land they will regenerate and you can land on runways and aircraft carriers and that should be enough information to get you started and make you dangerous but please do come back and check out some more of my tutorials <laughs>